Songs uh, inspired by my wife's conversations with me weekly, saying you've gone too far, uh, which is usually fucking right. Anyway, this song's called You've Gone Too Far. Oh! 
for yourselves as a band? Aye. So we're, uh, we're Crime Desk and uh, from Glen Rothes. And we first started in 1979. Right. And then we went our separate roads and uh, got back together again a few years ago and been gigging since with Punk Gigs Oil Scotland. Nice one, man. He, he's performed in the venue before as well? We've been in the venue, it's a great place. Great mm. place to play. Good sound they're running here. Uh, played here a couple of times. And uh, actually, it moved the stage a bit. I think it makes it better at the other end as well. So, swapping the stage over, great place to play. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the sound and stuff like that? Can this be a problem with Laurent? Sound, but... Sounds good in here. Um, sounds good at the front. On stage, not so good, but that's like missed other venues. Up mm -hmm. stage, it's usually muddy. You've yeah. got to trust the sound guy, you've got to trust what the folk are saying. So, aye, decent sound at the front here. That's a good one. Right, he's waiting to introduce ourselves, man. We'll go through the band. Start off with. Aye, so I'm Alan, vocalist, guitarist. I'm John, drums and dust and lights. <laughs> I'm Alan, bass, <laughs> vocals. Nice, man. You want to talk a wee bit about the influences? What kind of influences can kind of inspire your sound and stuff? Your influences are definitely old school punk. Old school punk from the 70s. No particularly 80s punk. Mm. We were all past it by that time, okay? But uh, 70s punk, Ruts, Clash, The Damned, The Saints, Buzzcox, all these bands. All these bands that everybody's now listening to again and saying how good they are, and they are, they're just brilliant, these bands. Adverts uh, were a big influence on us, definitely the rocks. So, uh, these bands, yeah, these bands were the bands that we grew up with and wanted to aspire to, really. And we'd be lucky that we supported quite a few of them now that they're all going, heading the hot roads, all these, we supported all of these bands now. And it's just brilliant playing with these bands that were out here, was back in the day. We still have a tick list. He's want to talk about what kind of guys who sported and stuff, you want to talk about that? Yeah. Mine's a sporty. Mm. So, sporty 999, they were a huge influence on me, I've got to say, one of my very favourite punk bands. Played a couple of their songs over the years, uh, sporty then in the Hot Rods. Um, and we supported Henry Bluey for Stiff Little Fingers a few times. The Lurkers. Lurkers, we supported the Lurkers, that was a, that was a great night when we played with them. So quite a few bands, um, we, they, are, they are legends these boys in punk, absolutely are. And they want to know you. That's Aye. the good thing about all these guys who come and play venues like this, they want to know you. Even yeah. if they're 10 minutes they're talking to you, but they want to know you. That's Aye. Aye. Uh, one, of the, one of the newer bands that we, they were really like Goldblade, John Rhodes' band, were really friendly. We played with them a few times, sort of socialised a bit with them sometimes at gigs. We'll be seeing them at Nice and Sleazy in May when we go down there. So, uh, all these bands, great guys to play with, great, great guys to mix with. Nice one, man. Right. Are you going to uh, links you want to show out? You, when you were talking a wee bit earlier on, you didn't hear a. Uh, but has you got any place we can go to get CDs and stuff? Well, we at gigs mainly, um, but we have got a Facebook page, so we've got Crime Desk Facebook page, Crime Desk, all one word, Facebook page, message us on there, and we can sort out some t-shirts and CDs and stuff if, if we need to. But gigs mainly, we're mainly our live band, bring some merchandise, um, sell it quite cheap, got decent t-shirts with a logo, we've got a 10 track CD for a fiver, so we're working on your, our next CD, so we've got about five or six songs in the bag for that, so that'll be coming out of seven CD. Excellent, man. Have you got a rough release date for that you want to sh say? Or you... I'd like to say this year, but I'm not convinced it. This year. This year. This year. Right. But that's a long time away at the end of the year. Yeah. Right, well, that's fine. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for all. Well, we're looking to possibly have a single for Nice and Sneezy next mm. month. It's uh, a little bit better than what we can do. We've got a lot of demand for the most popular song, Monkey Hoor. The famous Fight for Love song. So we think we're trying to get that as a single. We'll probably a lot of folk are asking for that, so I think we'll do that. Excellent.